In this video, we're going to be talking about the brand new Invisalign Palatal Expander. This expander is 3D printed. It is removable. It hugs your palate so you can see that it's very nice so nothing gets underneath. This expander is, is an alternative to the traditional style expander that is also 3D printed. This one's a slim version so it's a little bit nicer for the tongue. Uh, this expander does involve a turning screw right here in the middle. This expander replaced the double arm expander that you can see here, which is a little bit bigger. And that expander replaced the acrylic expander that you see here. And this one's about 50 years old. So we have a few different expanders we'll talk about. I'll dive a little deeper into the Invisalign expander. I'll show you a little bit more about it, how it's removable and you can take it on and off. So let's go. Hey guys, this is Dr. Robert Passamano. I'm a board certified orthodontist. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Invisalign palatal expander. This one is brand new. Uh, it just came out in 2024. Uh, the prototype was in 2018, FDA clearance in December 2023. So this is a relatively new thing that U.S. doctors are now getting. So the goal of this video is to kind of uh, introduce you to the expander, see what it's capable of doing. Uh, I know you guys have a lot of questions regarding this, some, this new expander, so hopefully this video can answer that. Um, it is 3D printed nylon, so this is not like Invisalign where it's clear plastic or thermoplastic. This is removable so it's different than a traditional expander that's not removable this is also worn 24 hours a day or maybe even 23 hours a day you are supposed to eat with this and then this expander has stages of expansion so what that means is you get multiple series here we go i'm going to show you multiple series of expanders this this is the expander i'm holding right here so you get many of these expanders and you will cycle through them and that's how you expand your palate Here's some maxillary expanders on the market. We have some removable ones that look just like this, as well as this. There's a little turning screw right here in the middle. There's a double turning screw on this one right over here. This removable expander is the new palatal expander by Invisalign. There's no turning screw on this one. The ones that are not removable is gonna be this one over here, and then this one over here. And then these are the ones I currently use in my office. This is the slim version. Uh, this is a slim screw right over here. These ones are 3D printed bands. Uh, these ones are pretty comfortable. Uh, I, I get great results with these. So I'm gonna compare the Invisalign expander, that's this one, as well as the current one that I currently use. Here's a close up showing the two most popular expanders. On the top, you can see the Invisalign expander. The bite is a little bit open because you are biting on top of the expander. The expander covers the top teeth. Whereas the traditional expander does not cover the tops of the teeth, so your teeth can fully bite together. The traditional expander is on the sides of the teeth, whereas the Invisalign expander is on the tops of the teeth. So here's a comparison of the two expanders. The traditional style expander has 3D printed bands. It is not removable. It's made out of stainless steel metal. Um, so if you do have an allergy to metal, then the, the Invisalign expander would be a little bit better. Um, it's activated by turning screws. There's an actual screw in here that you turn. This is also a little difficult for some of the parents because sometimes that screw is a little bit small. Sometimes the, the turning is not always done correctly. Um, it's worn for four to six months uh, or up to one year depending on the patient. And then no sticky foods, like no caramel, nothing that would dislodge the expander. And so on the right-hand side, we have the Invisalign Powell expander. This one's made out of 3D printed nylon. It's removable. So it's a little bit more cleansable. I mean, you can floss and keep your teeth clean. It's metal free if you have an allergy. Um, also removable is also a little bit of a disadvantage because then if it's not worn, then it, then it can't work, of course. Um, it's activated by going to the next expander. So there's multiple uh, series of expanders that you would put in. So you'd wear one for maybe one day or two days and then put the next one in. They're all labeled so you know which one that you're gonna put in. It's worn for the same amount, four to six months. So most expanders in general are, are about four to six months. If you're usually between the ages of seven to 10, if you're a little bit older, uh, it can go a little bit longer. And then I, I don't, if you're eating with it, no sticky foods, I would say, because you know, then you're gonna dislodge the expander. So food wise is about the same. So there's the comparison between the two. I just went through the differences between the Invisalign expander and the traditional style expander. But in reality, all expanders work the same. They're developing the jaw by reducing crowding and the need for extractions by expanding the palate. It corrects cross bites or jaw asymmetries. And it also helps with airway and breathing by increasing the size of the palate. 
palate is connected to the nasal floor. So if you are expanding the palate, you are also increasing the size of the nasal floor and that helps with nasal breathing. Maxillary expansion in general is great to develop the jaw, reduce crowding, correct crossbites and jaw asymmetries. So I really like maxillary expansion in general. The brand new maxillary expander by Invisalign, it's not groundbreaking technology, meaning like it's not revolutionary. It's just another alternative to the regular maxillary expander. You know, the regular one or the traditional one is not removable, which is a pro and a con by itself. The, the new expander that's by Invisalign is removable, which is a pro and a con. As you can see, you know, when you're doing these on kids that are seven to 10 years old or even teenagers, having something removable could be good or it could be bad. Uh, it, it doesn't, it, it's up to the specific patient and parent to decide on what's best for them. I like them both. I really do. I'm going to offer them both in my office. I already do. Uh, we got a few of them already going. We're getting great results already. I get great results with the traditional one. So I think overall they're great. It's just nice to have another option for expansion. Thank you guys for watching the Invisalign Paddle Expander video. Hope you found it useful comparing the brand new Invisalign expander to the traditional one. Hopefully it was educational to help you make your decision on which one you want to go with. Uh, I think they're great, like I just said. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other videos on maxillary expansion and phase one treatment. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.